Hola, welcome to your Smart Sheets training session. I'm going to give this to you in as brief a time as possible so you can have a very short learning curve. Okay, so take a look at the screen. And this is basically broken down by weeks. The pink bar represents each week. week you can see week one, week two, week three, week four. And <clears throat> you can take a look at the first thing and you can also see the dates. You can see it according to the dates. Um, when is this due? October 27th. Well, this is October 25th is the start of the week. So uh, Tuesday is when it's showing on here. So October 27th is when it's due. And you can see that it's assigned to me, Amy Mariscal. One thing that I really like about this is that you can put these notes in here. So, <clears throat> Whatever we need to discuss about this particular task is right in the task. And I try to keep notes on here. When we have discussions, I actually put notes in here from our discussions, the most pertinent notes. So if you ever have a question about something, you can always go back in here and look. And you can also add attachments with the little paper clip. So you can attach a Google Drive document, you can attach an Evernote, or you can upload a picture or whatever you want from your computer. Right in the to do whatever the thing that we needed to do is. <clears throat> okay, let's see what else to explain here. Okay, so one thing is you can slide over. So it's not showing you the complete sheet when you first get in here. You have to scroll over and on a Mac what I do is I take my two fingers and just literally scroll over with my two fingers. You know, move them from left to right. I'm not sure what it is on a PC. Let me know and I'll add it in. Okay, start and finish. So this is all, all this stuff like I said is based on the meeting. So it was all today and it was only like 10 minutes a piece. This is something that the one hour strategic planning is something that you can do whenever you choose throughout the week. So I put the whole week on there from start to finish. You can scroll along here also, see what's coming up in future months. One thing about this program is you do have to save it. And it actually will, every 10 minutes or so, it'll prompt you to save it if you haven't saved it. Oh, if there's something that's really, you know, you want to send out an email reminder or something that's really pressing, you can push this little alarm. Okay, this is where you either, um, you can, just like on Excel, you can insert a row above, cut a row, delete a row, anything like that. Actually, it looks like you can do everything from this one little box over here on the left. You can look at the full calendar view. So you can see who, okay, I can actually, I'm gonna assign these colors. So um, <clears throat> let me show you how to do that. Okay, here we go. So these are the different views. So we can see all the little projects and tasks. We can see the projects and tasks with the calendar, my favorite view. And you can just look at the calendar. Uh, but what I want to do right now is I want to set a new rule, add a new rule, <clears throat> that if it's assigned to Amy, then the color is going to be, I like orange. Okay, so my to-do color is orange. See how it changed that? And Miguel, so I'm gonna stick with blue for Miguel because I think he likes that. And then you can see when we go over to calendar, now all my stuff is in orange and his stuff is in blue. Oh, did I show you how to mark complete? Okay, that would be a good one. Okay, so when you finish your hour of strategic planning or any other of the tasks that you have in here, you can just go to complete and put it in there. And I don't have Miguel's address, email address in here because it's private information and not everybody in the world needs to know that. 
Um, I don't expect you to be working in this very much at the at the beginning. Uh, when we get more into assigning tasks to people that really, you know, like creating content and things like that, then we definitely need full participation in at least like, you know, checking off what's complete and when. Um, but I don't know, you know, you it depends on the person how involved they want to get in actually making tasks and moving around. So we'll just play that by ear. So you can pick the row and move it down or move it up wherever you need to go. You can also put um, tasks under projects. So if I wanted to indent this row to make it a sub task under a project, you can see that when that it's indented under the thing that was on top of it. And then when I close the project, I close all the tasks underneath it. We will start using this when things get uh, <clears throat> more complicated. Okay, and then you see what I did back here just to outdent it. So here's indent, outdent. Very easy to put things under other things. You can also attach them um, as a precedent, pre predecessor. So what you do is, like I've done here, this is basically all stuff that we were going to talk about, we were going to talk about in our meeting, or we did talk about in our meeting. So it's kind of like each thing is dependent on the other thing. So I, I put a precedent in here, row two has to be done before row three can be accomplished. So it's a dependent task. And again, this is gonna get much, all these things seem like, oh, why do we need all this right now? But later on, things get a lot more messy and all this stuff is incredibly useful. If you have any questions about Smartsheet or you know, if you, even if you wanna do stuff that's unrelated to what we're doing because you love the program so much, let me know and maybe I'll even add it into future videos. All right, that wraps up our demo for Smartsheet.com.